today in the amp world the two nodes torpedo captor wait a minute that's no amp actually great So now I want to show you how the cap emulation works and I have hooked up my old Marshall valve stat to the torpedo captor and you can see it here on the left side. It's no cap emulation activated and on the right side is uh, the straight signal through my XFX so I can compare the cap emulation with my favorite caps of the XFX. Anyways, the total clean signal is even on the volume at least as even as I could can maybe turn this a bit up yeah and we have here it's way flatter than on the XFX don't know if this is the captor or if this is the valve state well we have to see so now let's activate the cap on the XFX it's my go-to IR, it's a, I think it's an angle 4x12 with a Celestion V30 and a Shure SM75. It's, I use it almost exclusively on everything you hear on my channel. And now let's activate the guitar emulation on the captor. So it's way more even than on the XFX. The XFX has this gaps, you say in English. Um, and it has way more high end. Even here you see something. Whereas the captor doesn't have it. It's center frequency or the peak of the high frequency is at 3.3. And here we have several spikes. Um, yeah, you see it. The bass, however, is very similar, actually. So now let's switch to the bass cap on the captor. Okay, so I've chosen the 4x10 SV bass cap with, an again, an SM57. The bass is higher. On the XFX, it has a low cut that the captor doesn't have. And here is this mid gap. Here is a pretty drastic mid gap. The highs, however, apart from the mini gaps and spikes, very different. Okay, as for the playthrough or the actual sound comparison, we just check out the guitar cap emulation. <laughs> So I just want to talk about the sound. I think the captor is so useful with its 
attenuator, it's load and I can't recommend it enough. But let's talk briefly about the sound as mentioned. The guitar cap emulation, it works okay. It's very darkish. You can definitely tell the difference uh, to my preferred cap emulation on the XFX. But I think for some quick sounds or quick recordings um, for demoing or uh, if you use it live, for the FOH or your in-ear mix, the cap emulation is totally fine. However, I would recommend to use it with a third-party cap emulator of any kind. Anyways, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the 4th be with you and have a nice day.